the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Jets and the Silver and Black on Sunday night. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the New York Jets and the Las Vegas Raiders. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Fielded right around the eight. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket. Able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. Wilson going to come out throwing. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play. But he could not pull it in. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Five yards, now it's third and five. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense put pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Open man, here is Cobb. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Call that a very strong gain of 24. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 45-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Brees Hall. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. And 
that's the type of play that will fire up the defense, holding them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing is Wilson. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Complete to Alan Lazard. A gain of nine yards. First down, Jets. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on. Especially crucial here on the road. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, swinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Tremendous field position there at a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. They went for the big play, just unable to complete it. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Now Wilson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It'll be a sack and a loss of three, but more importantly, it brings up fourth down. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Zerline's kick is up and through, and the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown. But three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Takes it at the seventh. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. As you get a look at Ryan Hoyer, the veteran quarterback out of Michigan State. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out.
Hoyer. Complete here to the right to Bolden. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Hoyer. Forced out to his left. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. On the return comes Cobb. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And the Jets will take over. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and ten. Play action. Now Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. So now they'll come up on second and ten once again from the 28. There's Wilson to throw. They'll set up the screen for Hall. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you. But maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. Able to find Lazard. And he is going to have a Jets first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. He just hit a receiver trying to run down the defender. He goes right at him. And really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field. So he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out. To the sideline and make a catch. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try to keep the defense honest. You mean, or else just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Now it's second and nine. They run it again with Cook. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties and the better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now it's Wilson. Being chased out, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and sending him back on the sand. Well, many times when you talk about mobile 
quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. DeAndre Carter back deep. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Raiders will take over now first and ten. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and ten from the 20. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Brandon Bolden that time, the one he was trying to get it to. And that'll make it third down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Here's Hoyer. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The end result, 21 yards. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll set up a throw. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Johnson. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game. But in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice gain. To throw again on second down. Hoyer, he'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. But they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. they got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. That's caught left side. Myers with it. 
He'll get it inside the 20, and he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. Here's Boulder. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. The left side throw complete to Adams. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now we've got a third and three. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, Sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him three yards and a fresh shot of downs. Did you see that? Option. No, not he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. They go power. This is Johnson, the fullback. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. From the two now, second and goal. Jacobs. We'll cross the line. He's in. Touchdown, Raiders. So, Parker, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. He's got it. We'll see that opening right field goal and brings it a touchdown, and that makes it 7 to 3. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. From the 10. And a decent return out to the 27 yard line. So out now come the Jets. Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 27. 
He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Back to the ground. This time, Cook. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now the veteran Thomas Morstead on to punt it away. Here comes Carter. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that two yards on the pickup there and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. After run, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas. The homestanding Raiders with a football here as they've got it with a first and ten. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 45 on second down, Hoyer. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Reed. And the Jets are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The New York set to take the field. They'll have good field position at midfield following the turnover as they start with a first down here. Let's go. 
Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10. Right at the 50-yard line. On first and 10, it's Hall. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle, and if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. First down, right back to Hall. He'll get this down to the 38. Second and seven. They'll try the middle with Cook. 17 yards for the Jets there as they got themselves a first down. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Cook again. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Second down and four. Wilson. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And now it's third and four. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. The offense on third down tonight. Two for five to this point. This is third and four. To throw is Wilson. Steps away to it, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up four. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance. They've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. He hit his first, this one from 38. Zerline's kick is up and through, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. 
But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Now a draw play. This is Bolden. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up four. And we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run. And he finishes that one off for a loss. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Now Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Wilson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 43 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. It's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hall on a give up the middle. Fancy footwork at the 45. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. And if his coaches are correct, we're going to see a lot more runs like that from this young rookie going forward. And you know, slapping each other on the back up in the boots right now? the scouting department because they really recommended this guy highly and he's justifying their faith in him. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 46. Wilson. Buying timers and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Malcolm Coots, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop it for a loss of a full 10 yards. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. On second down, a run with Hall. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here. 
here on third and very long. Here's Wilson. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Quinnen Williams so hard to block, and he shows it that time, making the tackle for loss. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Back to throw here. His throw incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Raiders on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third down and 12. They'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. Had to pass there. Third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch is taken here a step or two inside the 45-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Jets' offensive unit ready to get going here. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now Hall to start the drive. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. From just shy of midfield, Wilson, who dumps this one off here to Hall. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Running left, it's Hall. Down at the 35, it'll be second down.
Coming up on second and seven. Now it's Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I ain't going to scan downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Throwing is Wilson. Flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage, and now it's fourth. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go the man they call Greg Delay, Greg Zerline. And this is going to wind up last. Well struck, but it's no good, and that'll keep this a one-point game. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Jacob's going to try the middle. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. They're back now to the original line of scrimmage thanks to that eight-yard gain. Third down now to follow. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. On third down, he'll drop to throw. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in. First down. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Jet territory now. Here's first and ten, right at the 40. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Second and nine. Hoyer, and it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 30. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. So first and 10 now from the 30. Hoyer. 
A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Hoyer. Try to lay one up deep. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Back to throw again. He's going to try and go deep again. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Fourth down, and on comes a Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Carlson is good, and they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of a team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Play action. Now Wilson. Dancing to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. To throw again is Wilson. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it, the benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. There's Wilson to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. 
looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. Talk about angling that one perfectly, partner. We know the ball can bounce anywhere, especially how it's shaped. But that one, as if on cue, goes out of bounds perfectly. Perfect indeed, right at the one-yard line. Excellent coffin corner punt. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yards and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And a nice pickup as this one gets them to the 10-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. A dump off here to Bull. And now a fumble. The ball's out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football... And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. The previous play is under review. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's Hoyer. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Complete here to the right to Bolden. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he gets it to Bolden. And he is going to have the Raiders first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going?
line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. The open man here, Renfro. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from that first half for the Jets. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, they had a little more success than their counterparts did in the passing game, as evidenced by the numbers there. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. with the lead already and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway from the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here and start the third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter and Charles if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try to win this ball game. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback a hot route so to speak they'll look to throw here on first down that one into the hands of Adams downfield. It's a big play there for Vegas. 46 yards. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's a handoff to Jenkins running left. Looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now it's Boulder. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. 
Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. He'll look to throw. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Daniel Carlson set for the Raider field goal. This is a 26-yard attempt. Carlson able to put this one through. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now, 13-6. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. And all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, we've kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. After the main field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. From the 10. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They go play action with Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Wilson. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. What we've seen so far in this game, they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Wilson. Working the sideline here. Did he get the feet in? Yes, they say that he did. Nice job tapping both of them down. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And points result, we'll call this play significant. A give running right is home. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Play action. It's Wilson. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but some far offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. On third down, Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. 
And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, part of their struggles in the first half was their inability to convert consistently on third down. But how about this well-designed play? Gave himself plenty of options and able to get the hook up and keep the drive going. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 46. Now it's Wilson. And check down complete to Hall. So nothing doing there. And that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and ten. Again, Wilson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Here's Wilson. Forced out to his left. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Raiders pick it up. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. So they tried it. Not only did they not get the first, they fumbled it away. Yeah, it's one of those things where it went from bad to worse. But I know that everyone's going to pile in on the call and say, well, what are you doing? Why would you go for it there? I think the teams that are convinced that they feel pretty good about their game plan, what they want to get done that day. Go for it. Give it a try. Hey, let's see if your defense can rescue them a little bit. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Quickly a slant to Renfro. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route right unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them. They run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Back to throw here. Open man right side, Myers. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Now they have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down Hoyer and finding the tight end Hooper and they're going to get this down inside the 20 well so far a little bit no resistance by the defense on this drive alone three passes 
passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Evades him at the 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. It's a big plays in the passing game on this drop. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Hoyer. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Jacobs going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal for the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. Jacobs again, and he will again go backwards as they drive him back to the four-yard line. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. It's interesting where we are in the game now. The analytics folks, they might tell you to kick the field goal and make it a two-score game. But you have to wonder if emotionally they're thinking, let's go for the touchdown and try and slam the door. On fourth down, here's Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Carlson is good. And that one makes this a 10-point game at 16 to 6. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. Sets up to kick this away. Fielded right around the eight. And now out come the Jets. But right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly so you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Now a second down and six. They go play action now. Wilson. Got a man and he hits him in stride. 
So give him two yards there on the completion. And now we've got a third and four. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And that is incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much from the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though, and they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Calling a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Here's A.J. Cole now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Forty-seven yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And the Jets will take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 59 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Now Wilson on first down. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and ten. Now Wilson. He gets it over the middle of the count. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. 
The slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. There's Wilson to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And that is incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone has had a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. A beautiful fake that he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and ten. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. Throwing middle, and it's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. They're going to run a little pop pass here. And it's a touchdown for the Jets. Alan Lazard, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets have cut it back within a score. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead.
Here's Hoyer. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They're looking deep for Adams. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by D.J. Reed. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception would turn for a touchdown, and this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. Zerline now for the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Here's a handoff to Jacobs, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Boyer. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on the punt for Vegas. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over.
They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 92 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. If you can keep getting games like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand. They're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? From the 45 on second down, Wilson. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. Open man, here is Cobb. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. On the defensive side of the ball, that's the definition of frustrated. You get them to fourth down, and then you allow a chunk play like that in the passing game. Almost felt as if that play was drawn up in the dirt on the sideline. They pulled that from a game plan that wasn't this game, and they still made it work. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Wilson will throw again. Finds Lazard quickly on the slant. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. What terrifies defense is when they see slant routes thrown, is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Straight ahead is Hall. And he gets him a little bit closer and takes it from the six inside the five and the four. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but when he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Here's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This will get the lead up to seven. Zerline's kick is up and through, and the drive will wind up yielding three. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. From the 10. 
And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. On second and ten. Hoyer, he's going to find and complete it to Renfro. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Looking to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. Now Cobb to return. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. They start the drive with Cook. A little juke. 104 yards rushing now for Cook, and this is a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They run again on first down. Cook. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3 4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle, the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Being chased out left. Caught by Cobb. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion.
First down, here's the run with Cook. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. On second down, a run with Hall. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Throwing is Wilson. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now Wilson. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high stick situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. I agree they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Again, it's Cook, and he is in. Touchdown, New York. A touchdown run there from a yard out, and the Jets have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Takes it at the seven. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Raiders heading out to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They go play action here on first down. 
And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. I have to get some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hoyer. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? On third down, he'll drop to throw. He finds Bolden. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. They go with Jacobs. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short the line to gain. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Here's second and ten. Paul on a give up the middle. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well in the football now. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And what we just saw their partner was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Over the middle complete. That's Cook. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, it took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage. That is inches from the upright. It's no good. Line to the left, and this will remain a two-touchdown game. Now this one now not over yet, Charles. You've got a sliver of hope on that other sideline. You certainly do, because that would have made it a three-score game, and that probably would have been curtains at that point. But now if they can get down the field quickly and somehow get the ball back one more time, we may have a different ball game. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and ten. Now Hoyer. 
He'll buy some time right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. A dump off here to Bolden. Five yards, now it's third and five. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up. They've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Now a give to Jacobs running right. He juked him. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. First down, he'll drop to throw. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That's complete to Bolden. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Now a draw play. This is Bolden. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Boyer. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Hoyer. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over.
Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Jets are going to get the football back. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. They'll start on the ground, Hall. And some room to maneuver. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> You've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. On first down, right back to Hall. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. They'll go again with Hall. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Third down, Wilson. That's complete to Cobb. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 40. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. The Jets with victory seemingly in hand, they take the knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? Now, I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory.